Hello YouTube, I wanted to make a video today about archery versus firearms in an SHTF situation. So let's start with the firearm right here. I have a 12 gauge shotgun. This is a Maverick Model 88, in case any of you are wondering. And shotgun or firearms in general have many advantages, of course, you know, starting with range and power. You know, this shotgun right here with the right rounds could probably take down anything in north america you got quite a wide array of ammo selection you can get bird shot buck shot slugs which makes the shotgun a very versatile shtf tool in my opinion a must-have really um the only things that are really drawbacks for it are the noise of Kirk, of course you know you use a firearm anyone Within a few miles is going to know that you're there doing whatever you're doing. So now, let, now let's go over the bow. This right here is a all wooden recurve bow. Um, it's a 50 pound draw weight. And some of the benefits to having maybe a bow over a firearm is this one's all wood. So if you had to, maybe you could manufacture new limbs or a handle if you had the tools and the know-how. Then the string is just one big long string with two loops on the end so if you had to i'm sure you can make a new one and this bow also breaks down into three different pieces each of the limbs will come off then you'll have the handle which would make it a great bug out option you can also get breakdown arrows which would I mean you could probably pack all this into a bug out bag giving you hunting capabilities and maybe even self-defense you know and bows are also a good option for those kind of people who might live in cities or states or even countries that don't allow you to have firearms. Usually the laws pertaining archery and bows are pretty relaxed. You know, usually you can just buy an air, a bow and arrow anywhere. No background check, no nothing. They don't really care. Compared to a firearm where you're probably gonna have to go through, a, where you're gonna have to go through a background check and a waiting period. You can even get one depending on where you live. So yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you got anything to add. Thank you.